Good day folks, welcome back to another time video. Sorry it's uh, been a little while in between videos, but it is uh, springtime and uh, bugs have been hatching out there, so we've been uh, putting in some time on the water, but um, back at the bench and uh, last night I was uh, restocking my mayfly box and and uh, came across this pattern that um, I remember having a few wicked days with last season, so uh, I thought while I was doing some restocking, I would uh, throw a video together for you. Uh, so the hook and the vise is a uh, pro tire um, from Canadian Llama, and uh, that's a size 14. And I've got a 3 30 seconds um, brown bead up there. So I'm tying with uh, 70 denier tan ultra thread. And so I'm just going to go ahead and get started here. Um, I've got a, uh, some, for the tail, I'm going to use some Coke de Leon fibers. Um, I love this stuff for tailing material. It's, uh, stiff, it's durable, and, uh, got some nice markings on it. So, I want a decently long tail. Um, I just kind of usually measure it up like so transfer it to my other hand and then just to keep the body nice and even wrap that all the way down and down into the bend there and then you can just open spiral back up towards the bead and then next material is small copper brown ultra wire um, so we'll just same thing tie this in along the near side nice smooth wraps down to where we left our tail um, now what I'm going to tie in is some this is the fiery brown buzzer wrap and I'm just going to tie this in right at the center of the hook on the back. And I just like to make sure that thing's centered. So that's looking good there. And I've got a second material to tie in the exact same way. And this is medium um, opal mirage tinsel. Um, a strip of pearl flashaboo would work as well, but I'll just get that tied in the same way. Don't worry about that bump back there for now. We'll uh, figure that out after we'll get that straightened up. So that looks like it's fairly centered. That one they both do. So you want them to overlap each other. Basically what we're going to do is um, use that opal tinsel to to kind of highlight the uh, the buzzer wrap and give it a little bit of subtle flash. See, don't need a ton of flash because we're going to add some into the uh, wing case. So then, I'm just going to come down to the bottom and smooth this body out. We're going to leave the thread body on this fly. So basically, the underside is just going to be the tan color and. Uh, the top side will be a little bit darker. So I'm just going to taper this body a little bit, kind of like so. Now what we can do is grab this pearl tinsel first, try to hold it right there on top, and just capture that with a few thread wraps. And then we can take our buzzer wrap and just go right up over top. Actually, I'm going to cut that excess out of there first. Now bring this right up over top. Cover that tinsel. Just like so. So hopefully you can Turn this vise here. You can see kind of the effect that we're going for there. 
that's what we're after so then you can get rid of the excess buzzer wrap too now I'm going to tuck my first wrap of wire right in below the body kind of hides it down there and then we'll come in and just segment the pattern usually four or five wraps of the wires all you're going to get on this size hook you want to leave a decent amount of space for your thorax and, and wing case <clears throat> so I'll just helicopter that wire out of there um, now what I'm going to grab is some large opal tinsel now once upon a time I just um, um, kept the buzzer wrap and pearl tinsel on there and still on the on the small one 16s 18s I'll do that um, so you can basically or just at least the pearl but you tie the wing case the exact same way you tied the uh, kind of that shell back um, and uh, that proves pretty neat as well but for this 14 I'm going to take this large tinsel and I'm just going to use it for my wing case so it's going to give us the flash that we need so we'll get that tied in up top just double check that it's centered which it is and wrap back basically to that last piece of wire we had there that looks good and now some of my favorite stuff going to the ice dub and this is the pheasant tail color so just dub yourself a few inch long noodle here and uh, go ahead and just wrap this thorax that looks pretty good there don't worry if it's buggy that's uh, kind of what we're going for so I'll just pull this casing over and tie that in couple wraps in front, couple in behind, and then come in here and nip that out as close as I can. There we go. Okay, um, now this next one's optional. This is just kind of a thing that I like to do. I don't like the light colored collar there of this thread, so I'm just going to take a brown sharpie color this tan thread and just give it a few turns of a whip finish here that looks pretty good so now just try to sweep those ice dub fibers downward for now we're gonna brush them out afterwards but just makes this next step a little bit easier I'm gonna come in here with a little bit of UV resin. Oh, oh, that didn't work, did it? <clears throat> Try that again here. So we'll just get a dollop of that on the wing case. And then we can just uh, kind of maneuver it around here a little bit. I like it to touch down on the on the buzzer wrap and then it looks like it's all covered there come in with some light give it a zap and we got the sunshine poking in here today so it's helping me but just give that a cure you can tell it highlights that wing case and uh, so that thing looks like it's ready to burst open um, so we've got that cured now you can come in with just a little dubbing brush here and brush that out a little bit if it comes out too long that's okay trim it off at the bottom of the hook point and that's about all there is to her 
just kind of readjust that vice there a bit. But you can see you got a nice tail on the fly. That um, shell back that we put on there with the buzzer wrap and the pearl really gets a neat flash to it. And uh, you know, the darker back, the lighter body, nice flashy wing case. This is of a pretty wicked little pattern. I had a few, uh, as I said, memorable days last season with it. So um, I continued to tie it and thought I would share it with everybody. So that's the... Uh, little may i hope you uh, enjoyed that thanks very much for watching and uh give us a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe if you haven't and until the next one cheers and tight lines